Welcome to I Wonder Doctor. We have with us again, Dr. Jonathan Wright. And Jonathan, we were talking about the importance of hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. And many patients who have heartburn, for example, are very frightened to supplement the acid. Mm -hmm. Could you go through the logistics of how someone should take betaine hydrochloride? Right. Well, if, if we're fairly sure we don't have enough acid in the stomach, and if you wonder about that topic, check with a doctor knowledgeable. And that usually means a doctor skilled and knowledgeable in natural medicine. All right. And so if it's been determined you probably have low stomach acid or if you've had a test done, it's for sure, then the capsules contain hydrochloric acid and pepsin, which is made by the same cells that are no longer making so much hydrochloric acid, so they're no longer making as much pepsin, and pepsins digest protein, and that's kind of important. So they're both in the capsule, and they should be taken after we have the first bite or two of food. One should be taken. Why after? Because if we take it before and the phone rings and the acid's sitting in our stomach and we're talking on the phone, yeah, sometimes it's going to burn some because there's nothing for it to digest. All right, so eat a little food, take one, eat a little food, take one. How many should we use? That you should consult with your doctor. Uh, I found over, my goodness, since we started pe testing people for this in 1976, however many years that is, I found that it can vary from two or three with a meal all the way up to five or six with the largest meal, if that person is way low in acid. But it's mm. a variable quantity. Yeah. And whatever the quantity is, uh, eat some food, take one, eat some food, take one, eat some food, take one. Don't do it all at once. And you're mimicking nature. You're copying nature here because the stomach, the body waits a little while after you, the first phase of digestion before it really starts pouring out that hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. So five, ten minutes into the meal. Mm -hmm. Well, good. I start taking them a little bit. You start taking them right little away. It's good to know. Well, eat a little food, take one. How, how does that one. relate to the digestive enzymes then? Because aren't they the ones that you take by mouth? Wouldn't they be denatured by the hydrochloric you acid? I bet they would. So yeah. those, the digestive yeah. enzymes, must come after the meal is over. And that's the surprise to me. Mm -hmm. After the meal. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't you take the digestive enzymes first? Mm -hmm and then wait about 10 minutes and then start taking that hydrochloric acid. Well, let's talk about well, how nature does it. Yes. Nature, and I don't want to diminish creation here, so let's mm -hmm. call it creation. Here's how it happens. The hydrochloric acid, when it's released from the stomach, releases a hormone called secretin, which is the very first hormone discovered, and the doctor discovered it and won the Nobel Prize in 1901 for this. Mm. The secretin, stimulates the pancreas yes. to make bicarbonate of soda yes. and enzymes. And that pancreas does not trickle out soda and enzymes, bicarbonate enzymes. Uh-uh. It's got to wait for the stimulus from, right. the, from the secretin. Yeah. And the secretin is only stimulated by the acid coming from the stomach. So what I'm trying to do is follow nature's sequence. Yes. First, there's the acid digestion. Yes. And then you give it some time, as you said, and you follow with the enzymes because that's the way nature does. The acid affects the digestion here. And then here comes the secrete and goes to the pancreas. And by the way, the food is coming around the curve to go to the pancreas. Yep. And the two of them meet. And so I don't know if you've ever been through a wood processing plant, mm -hmm. but there they have an acid phase for all the wood chips mm -hmm. to turn into paper or whatever. Yep. And then when the acid phase is over, there's an alkaline phase of digesting ah, the wood chips. Yeah. And this is... Just digestion is that way. First, we want to drench it with acid and the enzymes that are active in acid, and pepsin is the main one. Yes. That does its work. And then when we get past that, the enzymes that are alkaline in nature, which are both the pancreatic yep. enzymes and the plant enzymes, yep. then they go to work. But all that bicarbonate that the pancreas makes is then helping them to work. Those. Now, uh, we should notice that the pancreas hardly ever develops a bicarbonate production insufficiency. It does hmm. frequently develop not and, enough enzymes, yeah. but there's usually plenty of bicarbonate. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you for clarifying that. So an individual would start a meal soon after the first bite by taking one and then another and then mm -hmm. another betaine hydrochloride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then give after it some about, time. give it some time. time. And by that time, that's the food has moved out of the stomach, and then you add the pancreatic enzymes right. or the plant-based pancreatic Or the plant-based pancreatic enzymes. Yep. Now, ideally, yeah. we drill a little hole in our tummies mm -hmm. where the um, 
food is supposed to meet the enzymes and pop the enzymes through there. Yeah. But I am not going to volunteer for that surgery. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's as close to copying nature. As close to copying nature as we can yeah. get. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hey, thanks for asking. Okay.